Alright, what's up everybody? Born Ed Meat here. Average is failure. You already know. Now listen, stop talking and just do the work. Alright? Stop talking and just do the work. There's a story, shout out to Shannon, uh, one of my mentors who kind of imparted this on to myself and the rest, of, the rest of my peers. But he was saying one day, if you look at the story in the Bible of Joshua fighting the battle of Jericho, the command to the children of Israel was for them to walk around the city of Jericho, right, and the huge walls of Jericho. And they were silent the whole time that they were doing it. And if you really study the story, they, there's a total of 13 times that they walk around the city. So for the first six days, they walked around the city one time each day. And then on the seventh day, they walked around the city seven times, okay? So if you pay attention to that, that's 13 times altogether. But the first, during that whole time, they had to keep silent, right? They had to keep silent. And it's not until they completed that, that they eventually then, it says that they won the battle by giving a shout, a loud shout, right? Everybody shouting. Um, and, and, and by the shout, the shout that they gave caused the, the walls to fall down, right? Or, but, but what God was doing was really showing them that it's not their battle for them to fight the battle themselves anyway. He's really the one doing the, the work, right? But one of the things that he brought out, he's like, I, he said he can imagine why God told them not to say anything. And this is why. For a lot of us, we talk so much that we eventually talk ourselves out of doing what it is that we're supposed to be doing, right? And we talk a good game about we want to do this, we want to accomplish that, you know, um, and we often end up feeling real good about the talk. Like, it feels good to talk about some of the things that you say that you're going to do, right? But what separates the people who just talk about what they're going to do from the people that actually do stuff is that, yo, the, the people that do stuff usually never have to talk about the fact that they're going to do stuff or that they're doing stuff because the work speaks for itself. And on top of that, a lot of them never talk themselves out of doing what it is that they're doing. Why? Because they keep their mouth closed and they just get busy working, right? And so they see the results that lets them know, hmm, I should keep on doing this thing, right? But for many people, it's time for you to stop talking. Why? Because you've been saying that you want certain results, but you have not... Yeah, and you talk, and it sounds good when it's coming out of your mouth. And it's good information. By all means, it's good information. It sounds good when it's coming out of your mouth. However, like, the evidence is not beginning to show. And I don't mean evidence that you've reached your goal as yet. But what I'm saying is that sometimes even stepping out there and trying, making mistakes, coming back, starting at square one and going again, making some alterations to your approach or what have you, that's evidence that at least you're doing work, that you're on a journey, that you're getting ready to have the success eventually that you're looking for. But if you're still talking about how you're going to start studying in order to get good grades, I would advise you stop talking and just let the, let, just let the test results eventually speak for themselves. Right? If you've been talking about how you're going to open up a business, right, but you still haven't really actually done it, then yo, just stop talking and just let the results speak for itself. If, you, if you've been talking about uh, um, you know, going, getting into a certain career, just let the results speak for itself. If you've been talking about the fact that you know, you're going to now develop good relationships, just let the results speak for itself. If you've been talking about the fact that you're finally going to start giving God you know, time each, each and every day that's dedicated just to him, don't talk about it so much. If you've been talking about it too much, it's then it's time for you to stop talking about it, right? And to start saying, listen, it is time for me to actually start doing the work. And then the work will actually begin to speak for itself. And then when you talk about it, you can then begin to talk about it from a position of power, all right? It's one thing, when you, when you finally accomplish something, you can speak about it so much more strongly and passionately because you know the details about what it takes. Now that I have my master's degree, right, I can talk to people who are looking to, and, and not just my master's degree, but remember, I told y'all in the past that I did it with a 3.8 GPA. It's a lot easier for me to talk to people now about the importance of doing good hard work and, and the process of coming through school than it was when I graduated only with a 2.3 GPA from undergrad or when I got kicked out of law school because my GPA fell underneath a 2.0 uh, for some time, right? So, do the work, 
Let the results begin to speak for themselves, man. Peace out.